Hi guys! Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and a new black cat pillow. My co-worker picked it up for me at Target. I know. So it'll go on the back of the couch with my other. The two black cats will stay out. Hocus Pocus will go away. Um, so I got Dollar Tree haul, but first things first, I did have a question about the soap pump, whatever, pump dispenser. It does work, I put water in it. Would it fit in here? And the answer is yes, it does, absolutely. You may wanna cut the bottom a tag, or you may not, it's up to you. Um, it touches the bottom and then it bends ever so slightly. So take it for what it's worth. Um, I'm thinking pumpkin spice coffee flavoring in here. I don't know. I'm assuming it's okay, but to answer the question, yes, it most certainly does fit in the pumpkin jar. So if you are, this is large though, so this is gonna take a lot of soap, but that's okay. That just must be a standard mason jar lid. So anything with a standard size mason jar lid will work. And you know what? If you get a different jar and it doesn't, take a nail and poke a hole in it. All you need is a hole big enough for this piece to slide in. So just cut a hole out of a regular lid and now you have any jar will work. Just wanted to share that with you. Now, also, you know, my obsession with getting labels off, they bought, they came out with their own Goo Gone called Glue Away. It's red. I'm gonna smell it. it smells like alcohol. It says adhesive remover and cleaner, adhesive gum crayons and other sticky problems. It really works, that's what it says. I haven't tried it yet, but I thought I would get it because, you know, my, I'm obsessed. We have lots of fun stuff. Some of it, yeah, we just have fun stuff. Did I show it to you? No. I grabbed some of this. They're calling it just Crafter Square. It's velour. Um, I like this to back cross-stitch pattern. And it is the same size. Now, what I do appreciate is this is not sticky. But it's the same fat quarter in a light gray. It's nice if you make little pillows with your cross stitches. This is a nice backing, like a fake velvet. And quite frankly, finding little sizes is a miracle for me. Speaking of crafting, I found the black chenille. If I get around to making those bats, I'll make a video. But I got three of that. Um, I found for me some holiday socks. I love socks. I, I don't like wearing them, but I need them in my life. I was just getting ready to bite this with my teeth because I apparently have not learned a lesson from breaking teeth. But this is a Nightmare Before Christmas, I believe. Jack Skellington, or is this the lady? It's the lady on there and these are um part they were hanging with the halloween not in the sock section but those are nice socks so i grabbed those just to wear and then cruella de vil plain black socks to wear and i like them because they're kind of thin and i like a thinner sock if i'm wearing them with shoes now i have not tried this so I grabbed these, they're just cotton rounds because I bought this. This is the Glow Up Toner, face toner, and it's supposed to be a dupe for some name brand. And this is in the watermelon. You get a lot in here too. I don't quite know how to use a toner, but let's see. It doesn't tell me. I think you just put it on your skin. Ooh, it smells good. Smells like watermelon. We're gonna try it, what the heck? With watermelon extract and hy uh, hyaluronic acid, which is a moisturizer. That's a, a four ounce bottle for $1.25. I've only ever seen it one time, so I picked it up. And I got my trash bag going over here. Okay, in here, oh, I got a clipboard to take to my part-time job because I have a new team I'm managing now. 
Um, I don't think these are new, but I feel like it's the first time I have found them, which is the um, fall, they're cupcake stands, but you can use them for anything. So I grabbed the pumpkin and orange. They also had this in yellow and I got the green leaf. They had an egg corn, but it didn't have any gold on it. And so if it was white with gold, I would have been all over it, but it wasn't. And these were just the regular $1.25 section, but you can put a little candle on here or whatever. They're just cute. For fall, I'm trying to, oh, coffee. I'm trying to refresh some of my fall decor. I was working today on my YouTube channel at Starbucks. I gotta keep that. I bought this. This is Craft Collective. I'm kind of excited. It comes with two beading needles, but it is elastic stretch cord to make bracelets. And I've never seen this at my store, and I didn't realize till just now that it has the beading needles, which is nice to have for all kinds of different projects. I have a, um, a glass tube I keep my beading needles in because they can be a little delicate. So that's a nice for $1.25. And you get 16 feet, five meters. That's nice. I don't know what gauge it is. Oh, five millimeter. We'll try it. I bought some beads. It'll be in a different haul. Okay. Then I picked up to do a project. I saw this on TikTok. I can't find the creepy cloth in white. I was gonna make a ghost. But I grabbed some school glue because I think you can just use school glue with a little tiny bit of water. Some balloons to make the top of the ghost while it dries. Plus you can use balloons for all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna leave it in this bag here because this is one project, but this is a lot of glue eight fluid ounces of school glue. Get it now while it's out. And then I got some black creepy cloth until I, I want to find the white. But for now I have the black, which is really just like a very porous um, cheesecloth. I mean, you couldn't use it as cheesecloth, but it's the same concept. They're black and gray. I've yet to find the white. So there's that. All right, um, I picked up two of these. Um, I like these on my craft table when I'm painting and doing messy stuff because I'm ruining my cutting board again, my cutting mat. So I grab these to go in my craft space. Since now my craft room is clean, I'm more apt to be doing some crafting. So I just got these. I won't cut on them, but they're good for like messy stuff, like gluing and clay and things that stain because these are two for $1.25 and I can 100% re redo that. I guess this is not a biggest haul as I thought, but that's okay. Um, so we all know that I'm going on a little trip. So I only have two, two things, three things left. I'm going on a little trip in October. Well, actually, I'm going on, it's one time frame, but it's like two separate trips. So I'm going from here to Kelly's Island for a couple nights, and then I'm going on to Toronto for a cross section retreat. But while I'm at Kelly's Island, I'm in a little cabin it's like a little six foot thing, it's tiny. And it does have a some type of refrigeration and a microwave. And I'll need to feed myself because I'm not even sure what's gonna be open on Kelly's Island in the middle of October, but that's fine. So I grabbed, oh my God, I'm dying. I'm keeping one of these for the house too. It is a pot holder. It is a gnome. Guys, I'm dying. How exciting is that? That is adorable. This is definitely new to my Dollar Trees. I've never seen this before. And they also had some out in the shape of apples, but I needed the gnome. So I got two, cause I want to leave one here for like, just to sit it on my counter, cause it'll look cute. And then I'm taking one with me because I'm gonna have to microwave. And I figure cheapy little stuff like this, if it gets ruined, it's fine. I don't care. So I grabbed this to take with me. And um, on the same vein, they have these containers here. Now, I wouldn't microwave in these, but to bring, so there's two separate purchases, but this is one size that they have for $1.25. 
But I'm thinking if I do like a mixed salad or something for dinner, I can just bring it up in this container and put it in the little refrigerator and call it a day. I'm assuming it's a small refrigerator. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. For $1.25, I love this pattern that's on here. Great for leftovers, especially if you're going to be hosting Thanksgiving and you're going to be sending food home with people. I would stock up because they also have this size that's a two-pack. So this could be like a dessert to go container or if you're going to send Thanksgiving dinner home with anybody. For me, I'm just going to pack some stuff to take to the car, to the cabin with me to have for meals like dinner and lunch. And then I'll wash them up and bring them home clean and empty. Or if I'm taking stuff on to Canada, you know, I may cut up trabaloni and cheese and fill it up in here. That's lunch for me. And then, like I said, this is a little two pack. Um, I, you know, I'm just not going to put these in the microwave. This is 2.27 cups. I don't know what this one is. 55 fluid ounces. I would say it's like a six cup, but I just love the print. And if I lose them, forget them, they get ruined, something happens, I'm not mad. This is not expensive Tupperware. Um, I will bring a glass bowl or a glass plate, depending on what I'm eating and heating. I will bring something to um, go in the microwave that's not plastic, just for safety's sake. But transporting ingredients, that's perfect. And then the last thing I found, they brought out some... Uh, more Freeman two-pack masks and let me open this up this one so Freeman I definitely find at Walmart this is a uh, hydrating pineapple sleeping mask give your lips some extra love with this fun treatment bursting with pineapple fruit flavor the sleeping mask is blended with hydrating extracts um, after exfoliating at night, apply an even layer to the lips. Oh, using the dip applicator. I'm like, what is in here? It's um, like a lip balm, a lip balm. I don't know how many applications will be in each one of these, but there's like a little doe foot. Mm, smells good. I'm assuming you'll get a couple applications per mask. Oh. Seven uses each. So for $1.25, I have 14 lip masks. And come winter time, when my lips get all dry, this is going to be exciting to have at night to put on before I go to bed. Um, they only had two at my store. Oh, it's so cute. You can peel this off as like a little gift and then gift it like that. That's adorable. Freeman is very clever. So I grabbed these just for me. I'm not gifting them. So that is everything in this specific haul. You're gonna see this look in the next haul too because I'm staring at it. It's not a big one again, but it's enough. It's enough to share. All right guys, well I hope you enjoy and if you're on the hunt for this jar or the pump or any of the things I got, I hope you found it and I will talk with you later. Bye.